story about my sister Abby. This is Abby. My name is Abigail Duran and I'm six years old. You could call me like Abby for short. Abigail is very special. I have leukemia. I see news and it says like sometimes people die by leukemia. Abby was never afraid. I think her greatness could help inspire other kids with leukemia. Her treatments cause her to lose her hair. And when I go everywhere, it falls apart. So my dad had to shave my hair. My sister's hair used to fall out. My dad had to shave it when she grew hair and when she got bald spots. I was four. Kids would make comments about her. Other kids didn't understand why she was different. I was getting a little bit shy when my, when my hair got bald and people were asking me about it. They sometimes didn't understand why she didn't have hair. Most kids thought she was a boy. There's one boy that said, no, no girls allowed in the room, and he said, okay, only Abby could come in because she looks like a boy. I'm not a boy, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. Some kids used to say mean things about her. It hurt my sister's feelings. I don't think that's funny, that's sad. She doesn't have to be treated that way. Abigail just happens to be sick right now. I have faith that soon she will get better. Abby had an amazing way to cope with being bald. Abby used to paint her head. She is very creative. Abigail didn't like the idea of wearing wigs. I hate wigs. She was always happy to show who she is and to be herself. Abby was never afraid. All she wanted to do was paint her head. This is when I got painted on my head. It's purple. And I can't tell what that is because it's right there in the middle. But I can tell this is a seahorse. She used to paint cards, flowers, many bright, colorful, beautiful things that match with her. And her friend, Melly, she would do it too. Abby has been a great role model because she has inspired kids to not be afraid. They did whatever they wanted. I want to be a doctor because of Abby. She has inspired me to help kids with leukemia. She wants to help kids that are sick like me. Thank you. I hope I make a difference.